Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today's movie trailer that I will be reviewing is the special look into The Suicide Squad, coming out later this year. But before I get into my review of this trailer, if you would be so kind as to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications. If you are enjoying the content on this channel, I will greatly appreciate it. But now, let's get on to the review. So this is the famous Suicide Squad. This is gonna be short and quick. It's really small. It's a really quick trailer. I think it's like 50 seconds, the actual action that we see on this. I'm super excited for this movie. I can't wait to see what James Gunn, the director of the Guardians of the Galaxy has done with this DC property. I hope he's not gonna, I hope he brought his magic or what I'm used to watching from a gun movie. And I hope he brings that kind of eye to this. And from all, I know the people on the actors speak highly of this movie and of his production, what James Gunn brought into, into the DC universe. And I'm hoping it's true. I'm hoping they're not over hyping it just because they are invested. Obviously this is, I don't know. It's not, I don't know if it's a reboot or if it's following, we have similar from the trailer. There's similar uh, actors and characters from the first one, but it's super loaded with, with new ones. And it was, I think the, the footage that we're getting in this trailer is definitely be real stuff that we're not going to see in the movie, probably deleted scenes, which is the, the favorite thing for Hollywood studios to do is put these deleted scenes in the trailer. Obviously they don't want to spoil anything that we might break down and say, Oh my God, this is what it is. And this is what it, what is that? But I mean, I like it. It was, it, it looked fun. Like I said, in, in the beginning, I'm super excited. There's really not much to review. There's not, it's not a lot that HBO max gave us in, in the trailer, but you know, we'll see. I have high hopes for it. I wanted to do good. I, I want the whole DC universe with the, with the Zack Snyder cut with, with this movie that's coming out with the suicide squad Two, I want all of it to be good. I'm not in this whole team. Oh, what, what, you know, I'm a Marvel fan and, and DC fans are always at war with each other. I come at this with a pure entertainment. I love movies. I love the superhero movies genre that we have going on. I grew up with it. And I don't know, I don't understand why people want to see these kind of movies fail. If, if enough of these movies fail, they're just, the Hollywood's going to turn away from them. And we saw that. And I'm not saying to support bad projects or support horrible, horrible cinema. 
But some of this stuff we have to go and give in, and, and actually give it a go into it with an open mind. And I'm not again, if, if they're going too much away from the source material like Catwoman did back in the days or Fantastic Four back in the day or even some of the Batman. Uh, and even throw in Green Lantern in that when you when you go too much away from the source material, we're definitely as fans going to call it out. But sometimes we have to give these studios and production teams the benefit of the doubt the same way that we're giving the benefit of the doubt for Marvel with WandaVision and look at what huge success that's had too. So I'm hoping that James Gunn, that this new project, his new baby that he has going on, that he wasn't too you know, preoccupied with thinking of, of Guardian of the Galaxy 3, which he it was going to be his project after this one. So we'll see. A lot of the a lot of the characters I'm familiar with them from the comic book, but they they look kind of cartoony. But again, I'm hoping that this is just not not post. You know, this is not the finished product that we're seeing. Is just to get us like, oh my god, you know, that's that's really entertaining, and and I can't wait to see it. So that's my take on it. I know I'm a little bit late with this trailer. It's been three weeks. My channel wasn't up three weeks ago. It's only been two weeks. Uh, but I definitely wanted to get into uh, this trailer because I, when I first saw it, I was super, super excited about it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys excited to see this movie? Is this on your list to go and actually support in the movie theater? This for me is worthy of going to the movie theater and having that full movie theater experience. And I'm, I'm going to plan to uh, hopefully if the theaters are open uh, here in where I'm at, that I will go and actually have that experience in the movie theater and not just stream it on HBO. But again, I, I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So let me know in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.